Hello painters and welcome back. It's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com back today for another quick episode of acrylic pouring snippets and in this one we'll have a look at products that you might want to use in your paint in order to create cells. So firstly I'm going to start with a couple of things that do not work. This is um, just your regular kind of cooking oil, a coconut oil or an olive oil, something like that. I wouldn't advise using these in your pores. Um, I've not used them personally, but from the reports that I've heard, they don't work really well. Really well. They're very, very greasy and heavy and um, it's kind of pointless. So I'm going to put that to one side. Cooking oils and stuff do not work. Same with um, other oils that you might have around your house like baby oils. Probably also not good for your pores. This one is also one that you probably already have around your house. WD-40 is like the leading brand in kind of lubricants in a can. This one, um, some people have tried. It really, it's not great. There is a WD-40 which comes in a different can. If yours has silicon written all the way across, then it probably will work. The regular WD-40 WD is not the right thing and that won't work, so don't use that one. You might have something like this. This is an alternative to the WD-40 brand. This one is called Liquid Wrench. You can also get them called Blaster. Uh, there's a CRC, I think, heavy duty silicon spray. All of these things should work. What you want to look out for is they should say silicon on them and that should be prominent. Providing they're a silicon spray, then they can work in your paints. So what you can do, generally they'll come either with a little straw like this one, like the WD-40, or they'll just come with a cap with a little sprayer knob. And you can either spray those straight into your paint um, or you can decant them. So if you spray them straight into your paints, you're going to get quite a lot in there and also it kind of can go a little bit everywhere and you also can get it on your canvas and all over your table. So I would recommend if you want to start off with something like this and you can, I started off with the liquid wrench when I first started just because it was easily available in my local DIY store but it smells, um, it's kind of yellow and it's not the easiest to use. So I suggest that if you're going to use this, take it outside into a well ventilated area, spray some into a little pot, jar or bottle and then use a pipette or dropper tool to take it out of here and put it into your paint. Ooh, now I've put the, taken the top off of that, it really smells. So um, also just looking at the colour, if you can see that, against the background there. It's kind of yellow. It's not just a pure silicone oil. It's got lots of other chemicals and things in too. So it smells bad. It's slightly yellow. You can get away with using it, but if you have a choice, um, I would not use this and I would try and use a different product instead. So that's our silicone in a can. This is the preferred product of many. This is a 100% pure uh, silicone oil. It's sold as treadmill belt lubricant. So you may be able to find it in the larger sports supply stores, probably not in your DIY store. Mostly you'll want to buy it online and um, it features in our acrylic pouring Amazon store page if you want to find it there. And of course, I'm gonna provide links to all of the products in the blog article and in the show more section on the video if you want to know where to get it. This one comes with a little convenient dropper top. So you just unscrew and then you can add, you know, you can count your number of drops added into your paint. It's a uh, pure silicon oil, so it's clear, it's odorless, there's nothing else in there. And this is a, a really good option. So there's also other options that you might already have around the house. This one, for example, is a coconut milk, although it's called milk, it's not actually coconut milk like you would use in your cooking. It's a coconut milk hair serum, and this one is primarily with dimethicone, cyclomethicone, and a methicone oil. And this is a skin-friendly form of silicone oil, and it works great for making cells in your painting. So if you can get something like this, this is my preferred brand, but there are several other brands that you can use that will have the same effect. And again, I'll provide a link for where you can buy this. This one is really concentrated. So um, you really only need one drop per color and this will make great cells even if you don't torch your painting. So this is highly recommended. 
This one is a pure dimethicone. This one is a KY True Feel, it's personal, personal lubricant. So you might find it in the women's products or with the contraceptives in your pharmacy or your supermarket or drugstore. And this one is 100% pure dimethicone, which is again the skin friendly form of the silicone oil like this one. Um, and this one again, it's very concentrated. One drop per color is all you will need to create great cells. So these basically are my preferred products. These are the ones that I would use most often. This one in a pinch that you can get at the DIY store if you can't find any of these ones. Now some people also get great results with alcohol. Personally, I've not had that. I found it really difficult to create great cells with alcohol, but I know there are plenty of people who do. So um, if you don't mind any of these products or prefer not to use an oil in your paint, then get a high percentage alcohol. This one I think is 99%, but providing it's 70% or above, you can try this in your paints in place of your oils in order to get cells. So I hope this has been useful. These are the products that I recommend to you if you want to add some kind of additive into your paint to get cells in your acrylic pouring. And of course, links are provided for all of those. I look forward to seeing you over at the website again soon, and I hope you'll stick around for some more acrylic pouring snippets.